Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a free downloadable that you can get from my website to print out and make your very own Hinamatsuri's Cube Dolls. And this is the Emperor already made and I'm going to show you guys how to make the Empress today. But uh, this uh, downloadable includes a total of six sheets of paper. There's the uh, two larger pieces for the face and then these two smaller pieces uh, per doll. So for a total of four for the cubes kind of box to put them together in. And um, it's just meant to be sort of a little kind of cute, fun, simple little cube-like display for Hinamatsuri. So I'm going to show you guys really quick how to put this together. To make this particular origami, you wind up making a hinged box with two traditional boxes and then a little technique to kind of connect them that I use. And then we also need a balloon origami for the face. So uh, we're going to start off with that. What we want to do is starting off with the uh, paper here. We want to start with the color side facing down and fold into a big triangle and fold the other way as well. Then we're going to look at the color side and fold in half di uh, both vertically and horizontally. This will give us the pre-creases we need so that we can collapse everything to do a water bomb base which you need for making the uh, origami balloon. Get that done. Then looking at everything with the diagonals, we just fold down and then push in until everything shimmies around to become a nice little triangle. So you wanna get everything nice and smoothed out here. Now you wanna make sure that you are actually not looking at the face side, but the uh, logo and the QR code. And then we're going to fold these sides up to make that disappear. So I'm going to take each of these sides, fold it up to the top, smooth that out. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Flip it over and do the same thing on the back. So you wind up doing this four times, getting each of these folded up to the top. So that when you're done, you should have all four of these flaps coming up to this peak. Now I'm going to take this tip and fold it towards the center, creating a crease that is parallel with the center line. So you can kind of imagine that there's a line going straight through across here to keep it all straight and lined up. I'm gonna do that, go on all four of these sides. Now we wanna lock all of these over so that they don't pop out like this. And we're gonna do that by taking this little bit of flap that you see here. And if you look here, this is actually a pocket you kind of open it up and slide this in until it gets all the way in as far as it can go and then create a nice little crease here so that it gets uh, evened out there. And I'm just going to do that on the remaining three sides. So you just roll this part in, get it pushed over as snug as it can be there, and then create a new crease. Do the same thing on the other side for these two sections as well. And if we get all this done, then we will have everything secure so that when it blows up into a balloon, it won't pop open and break apart. So get all those guys over and get something like this. Then if you kind of open things up here, you'll have at the bottom, this is a nice top part. At the bottom, there's this little hole. We're just going to blow a little air into it while we're holding on to things here to kind of poof it up. When you first do it, it's not too pretty. You usually need to kind of add a little bit more air or gently come along here to kind of smooth out some of these edges. We do wind up making this fairly cube-like when we put it into the square. So you can kind of pinch the edges a little if you want to kind of make this uh, more flat so it'll fit into the squares when we're done here, the cubes. But you should then get a nice little face here for your Hina doll, for your Empress. And I'm just going to leave that then to the side so that we can make the box that we need now. Now I'm going to start off here with the piece that's for her body. And uh, the top one for her head is the one that's all black with the little uh, ornamental piece there at the top. So starting here with this, I want to just go ahead and with my uh, color side facing down, I'm just going to go ahead and fold my paper in half and fold it in half again. And then I'm going to take each of these sides and fold it into the center. So 
So you get something like this. Now, if you're kind of looking at things, you can kind of tell this is her head and this is uh, part of her head too. Uh, what we want to do for those is we're going to go ahead and use that to guide us as we fold this part up into the center and then this side as well. Open everything up here. And then these middle parts, I'm just gonna fold these flaps down, roll the side into the center. Do the same thing on this side too. So I can make the sides of my boxes. Try to keep everything lined up with these other lines as guides to make sure it's straight. And then you should have the nice bottom part of your box and then these sides. And then we're just gonna roll, fold this in because there's already some creases here. We're just gonna tuck it in, letting that collapse into a valley crease till this side stands up. And we could tuck this inside and then we'll do the same thing on the other side here. And this is going to secure the piece so that we have the bottom part for the body. And then we know where we need to put the, the face and the head part in. So I've got one part of the box completed. And then I wanna just go ahead and fold the other square really quick here too. And again, we just fold everything in half both ways and then do a blint space or a zabuton base by folding all four corners into the center. Get all four of those corners folded in. And then again, the side that has the face is a clue. That's one side that we want to fold over first towards the center. And then the side that has the QR code and the uh, logo or the other side. And uh, in this case, of course, they're both just black. Open things up. And then let this part fold down here so that when you roll it up, it's guaranteed to make a nice clean crease here. Roll it up towards the center. And then the same thing over here too. Fold this back to the back and then fold it up towards the center. Remember to keep everything lined up with those creases that are already here. So we get something that looks like this. And you can let these stand up so that they're the sides of your box. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and collapse the rest of this here so that I can get a clear idea of what I'm looking at in terms of the top and the bottom of my box. So I should now have the top with the cute little hair uh, design ornamentation for her and then the bottom part. So this is the top and the bottom of my box. Now the front obviously needs to be open because that's where my face is gonna show through. So the back part is where I want to connect things with the hinge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and first let this bottom part of the box open up and I'm going to let this part bend down and I'll have a nice smooth surface then for the back of my box. Now on the other side, making sure that you're doing the right one, not the side with the ornament, but the opposite side, take that part out and fold it for a second. So we get this nice point here and I'm just going to replace this point in the middle with this one. So just kind of opening things up here. I'm just going to slide this in. So it kind of meets in there in the middle. These little pocket, these uh, folds should line up here nicely in the middle. And I can bring them all together, kind of pinch them down and forwards to get them really secure on that hinge. And it should give you a really good kind of clean finish with the back there and then this part here. Then you could take the balloon from what we made before and we just slide her in here and then you can put the top part on when you're finished. Now this part can be a little tricky because you know it's meant to be a kind of tight finish so you want to try to just get it in there so that her, you can still see her eyebrows. <laughs> Otherwise she winds up hiding away so you got to be careful there. Make sure you get a good angle for that. But that's how you make the Empress and then the Emperor. And they look really cute on your desk or something for a display, a fun little decoration for Hina Matsuri, which is March 3rd. So if you're looking for some fun things to do for celebrating that, it's nice. It's on Saturday this year, so you can have some fun. I know lots of places all over the world have really fun celebrations around this time of year for Girls' Day or Dolls' Day, as it's often called. Um, so uh, I hope you guys all get a chance to celebrate. And these are downloadables that are free for you guys to enjoy. So check out my website. There's a link for that in the description. You can 
can also click on the information circle throughout the video and that'll take you there too. Um, and you can find these projects and lots of other fun things for you guys to enjoy. I'll have some more fun things to share in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.